हेलो एवरी वन जस्ट वन आई थिंक दिस सीजन खांड गेट एनी बेटर दे प्रूव मी रॉन्ग दिस वॉज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एपिसोड सो फार जस्ट लाइक द लास्ट एपिसोड अल्पोज दिस एपिसोड्स रिव्यू इन टू पार्ट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन सांजाज मास्टर प्लान एंड अल्पोज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो सोन मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड ऑल्सो क्लिक ऑन द बेल नेक्स्ट टू इट टू एक्टिवेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दिस चैनल सो Let's start with the opening credits. You can see the bight on the map here. The bight is the bay surrounded by white harbor, the neck and the fingers. As I said in my episode 1 review, they showed the inn at the crossroads on the map because Arya was going to go there. And then in episode 2, Arya did go to that inn and met Hot Pie. They only show the locations on the map where something will happen or someone will go there in the future. That's why I think something important will happen in these new places shown on the map. I already discussed how they showed Dreadford and Deepwood Mott in my episode 2 promo pics and episode 2 review videos. So if not in this season, then definitely in season 8, but I think these might be the first places the Night King will destroy or get control of when he will invade Westeros. The reason I'm not saying these will be the first places where the fighting will happen is because the Night King has a white dragon now. So there's little chance that the people there will win. Bran needs to warn Jon about Viserion. And speaking of Bran, he was conveniently absent in this episode while the Stark sisters were at each other's throats. As I said in my episode 5 review, I still think that both Sansa and Arya are not acting like themselves. Arya saying Sansa helped the Lannisters kill Ned and then when she told Sansa that she has trained to become a faceless man Sansa acted like she didn't know what it meant I mean seriously Sansa doesn't know what the faceless men are please if Sansa really doesn't know what they are then I can't believe that I'm saying this then maybe she will be an even worse queen than Cersei but I don't believe that any of this is true Sansa being afraid that Arya will kill her and Arya threatening to kill Sansa and wearing her face please no matter what happens i don't believe for a second that Arya will even hurt Sansa let alone kill her and carve her face out to become Sansa as she has told Sansa she would rather die than betray her family and did you notice that little finger said exactly the same thing to Sansa that Arya would never betray her family which is exactly what Arya has said to Sansa at the rookery which means i was right the stark sisters knew that little finger's birds will be listening and they had this argument to make little finger think that he is succeeding in his plans and when little finger said that Arya would never betray her Sansa very cleverly told him that she will if she thinks that Sansa will betray Jon Sansa needs little finger to believe that she and Arya are really fighting When Sansa acted like she was afraid that Arya might try to hurt her, Littlefinger suggested to get Brienne involved, implying that if Arya tried to hurt Sansa, Brienne will be honor bound to protect her. Maybe he was hoping that he will push Arya far enough that she will try to hurt Sansa, or maybe he will make it look like this she tried and Brienne will be forced to kill or imprison Arya. He had seen them practice in the yard, so he knows that Brienne can handle Arya. It was a very clever plan but Sansa ruined it by doing the exact opposite of what he suggested. She sent Brienne away to King's Landing. You see, that invitation to King's Landing doesn't make any sense. Why would Cersei want Sansa to be there if the king in the north, aka Jon, will already be there? That's why I think Sansa has sent that letter to herself. She read it aloud in front of Mr. Volken so that he can verify its content. especially to little finger she used the letter as an excuse to send brian away and then burned the letter so that no one will recognize her handwriting sansa probably knows that john was planning to go to king's landing maybe bran has told her about the meeting but she knew that brian will be safe and she wasn't sending her into danger she didn't even let pot stay she needed them out of the harm's way so that little finger couldn't use them The look Sansa had on her face when Brienne leaves is proof enough of that. When I had said in my Sansa's journey video a few months ago that Sansa will be playing little finger, I just thought she will pretend to be manipulated by him, act all jealous of Jon and all. But wow, 
this game is on another level. Sansa really has learned a lot. And she probably couldn't have done it without Arya and Bran's help. Maybe that's why she will say Ned's lines about the pack surviving. The Stark kids will bring down Littlefinger. By the way, when Sansa pulled the face out of Arya's bag, did you also think it looked like Hodor's face? Maybe it was one of the Freys. After that, when she pulled out Walder Frey's face, the first thing that crossed my mind was that, why is she still keeping that around? It's not like she needs to become Walder Frey again. Everyone already knows that he is dead now. Why do you think she is keeping them around? I had said in my episode 5 review that Arya read Sansa like an open book because of the line game she used to play with the waif. And I was really glad to see that Arya brought up the line game and what happened to the waif in her conversation with Sansa. I know we didn't see Cersei in this episode, but a new thought came to me later, so I thought I'll mention it here. I think Cersei might try to kill Bronn because he showed more loyalty to Tyrion instead of her and Jaime by secretly arranging that meeting. Cersei even talked with Jaime about punishing Bronn. Anyways, it's time for the comment shout out now. Today's comment shout out goes to Madison Malizai. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Anyways, Madison said, That's what I don't understand either. There has to be three heads of the dragon. How can they kill Viserion before he even has a rider? And no, the Night King does not count as a head of the dragon. The three heads of the dragons are the saviors, not the enemy. I completely agree with you, Madison. It doesn't make any sense to kill Viserion. There are only two explanations for that. First, David and Dan decided not to include this prophecy in the show. They have already excluded the Valencar part from Maggie the Frog's prophecy before, so I won't be surprised if they did that again. Second, I said in my Bran's journey video that the three heads of the dragons are the three saviors who will save everyone from the long night. I have always believed in this prophecy because usually a prophecy includes a warning about a threat or something about a savior. Remember neither can live while the other survives prophecy? Or Maggie the Frog's prophecy about the Valencar, or Melisandra's prophecies about the Long Night and Azorahai, or the Quaid's prophecies warning Daenerys about the three betrayals she will face? I hope you get my point. This is why I always assumed that the prophecies were pointing toward the three saviors, and I still believe that Jon, Danny, and Bran will play the most important roles in the Great War. But as Mark 8533 pointed out, it's not written anywhere that the three heads have to be saviors, so it's possible that the third rider is the Night King. I still think it would be weird if one of the head is fighting the other two heads of the dragon. What do you think? By the way, I can't wait to see John ride Rhaegal. John might even give it a try after he finds out that Rhaegal was named after his father Rhaegar. Drogon, who is the wildest of the dragons, has already let John touch him, so I don't think Rhaegal will give him much trouble. So, what do you think of these theories? Don't forget to tell us in the comments. If you like this video, please click on the like button below, share the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.